Yo. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. I'm not gonna slam any doors. Sorry, Fred. You gotta stay in there, dude. I know. There's a reason. Welcome back, guys. We are uh, checking lease properties. We're at our first one, uh, the main one in my books, my probably most important one, top two, top three. Um, yeah, I love this place. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, in the last two seasons has provided uh, some of our best hunts um, and probably at minimum four to five bands uh, right here in the last couple of years. So I uh, just got off the uh, phone with the owner and was like, hey, are we good uh, for um, this coming season? He was like, oh, yeah, absolutely, Bob. He was like, oh, by the way, I did some work down on your beach for you, which my beach is right across this road or hill, not road, right across the hill over here. And I was like, oh, really? And he's like, oh, yeah, I think you'll like it. And he's like, I cleaned it up a lot. Well, I pulled up and there's honkers sitting on the beach right where we hunt, right where we put our decoys. So I'm going to try to take a little sneak peek. I don't want to bust them off, but I want to see if any of them are banded. We'll just probably push them out into the water a little bit. They're just chilling. They're comfy. So this is first off. This is what he did. He made us this entrance road and it is nice and packed. If you guys were here last year, you've seen us backing in here. We'd back the trailers down here and it was like a ditch and then a steep hill that went this way that if you fell off, you got stuck and we had to pull you out. So we came in here with this huge front loader and completely smoothed it out, brought in hard sand, packed it, and it is freaking awesome. Here's the geese though. I'm just gonna push them off a little bit. Try to see if I see any bands. And I'm not seeing any, ooh. Okay, I don't see any right off the bat, but what are here, we're not gonna make them fly off. We're just gonna swim out a little bit. There are one, two, three, four, 30, 31, 32. 32 honkers right on the beach. So yeah, he uh, he did clean it up. Look at this. He said, well, I don't know what this is. This must be for him, a big table just to have a picnic at. Look at that. That is sweet. <laughs> picture table uh, but this is where the blind goes so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna drive around uh, we're gonna look at some of the lease properties we're gonna check water on ponds I brought some millet I'm gonna plant some millet in one of the small ponds that I have hopefully it'll take off planting it this late but yeah he really made it huge look how big the beach is now I mean really big huge 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 so this is where the blind will be right here um, he also said that I could build a permanent blind here, like semi-permanent, maybe one out of wood. I'd like to build it so it's got really hard, you know, sides on it, thick sides to block the wind. Um, it gets old having to erect the A-frame all the time. So if you have any ideas, any companies that make pre-built um, blinds, wood, whatever, Something that would be good here, drop a comment down below, put the company name down there, the website, whatever, and let me know. I'll probably end up just making one myself out of wood or something, but yeah, these birds <clears throat> have been here a really long time. This whole beach is just lined. So that being said, uh, our park isn't too far away. If you watched some of uh, the off season videos, my park, they banded over 300 of the honkers. So some of them probably are banded. I just couldn't see them because they're already standing in the water. You can't really see it at home, but underneath here, this is a big sandbar that rolls out and I can walk way out there and set my decoys. There are honker prints everywhere out there. It's beautiful, looking really good. Then we have this option of a hide. Check this out. Ooh, what if we put the, instead of going all the way back there, that's the problem with hunting all the way back there is you're so far away from the water's edge. So if the birds land like on the edge of the decoys, it can be a 50 yard shot. So what about this? What about this corner? Look at all of the weeds already grown up. Real tall. We could like come back here and put a big blind. 
drop a comment down below what should i do that's really nice there i don't know if they'd rather decoy you know here on this you know out in the water here with the trees or over there i think either way it would provide a closer shot right here hmm but least number one uh let's go check the next one uh that's where we're gonna plant some millet also let me know down below is it too late to plant millet do you think it'll take off it's still in the upper 80s during the day here um and then that that shows the next two week forecast is up in the mid 80s 80 to 85 uh for the 14 day outlook so i think it should take off i think it should get going at least you know whoa okay <laughs> uh so talked with the owner just now um and he said this year i can hunt this body of water wow holy smokes i've never i barely ever even looked at this body of water whoa look at this huge oh my goodness wow this is beautiful the fishing here has to be unreal the ducks have to get in this one that's what i think i've always thought the ducks probably got in this one last year i've seen a lot of ducks disappear behind the trees and i'm like they got to be going to that water this year we can hunt it and he also said yes uh that i could archery deer hunt um way 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 out in the corner in a patch of trees that's actually where i'm headed i just wanted to i'm headed there on foot it's gated this is all gated back here it's locked he's given me a key to it there was some deer poop that's a good sign fred here let's go let's go uh so it's gated nobody can get back here unless you have a key so guys uh first of all before we get back to the new deer spot i gotta try to find a spot um fred come on let's go he smells deer poop come on dude we have availability yes this coming season i got a handful of spots that can fit anywhere from two guys uh to about five or eight here and there uh in november december january and february february there's only one date so and i think there's one date that can fit about eight so if you guys are interested in coming to kansas hunting my spots that we're looking at that you've always watched me hunt over these years uh, all you got to do is go to sandhillflyways.com it's also linked near the top of the description down below i'll put it at the very top on this video and uh, you click it and you fill out the inquire to book form and uh that's a cool little car look at that all kinds of old stuff back here like oh wow. someone lost the key they're trying to shoot their way in look at that but we're gonna keep walking now we're getting into where i want to put uh a deer stand I want to put a tree stand up with uh, with a corn pile. Yes, here in Kansas, we can bait for whitetail. Uh, you can bait for whitetail, turkey, not waterfowl. Lots of awesome new spots this year, guys. I've really worked my butt off all summer getting new spots. Um, spots that I know are good, spots that have potential, spots that are a good flyway so you can get under them and traffic hunt. Lots of different stuff. I'm telling you, we got some prime spots this year. Oh yeah, he was like, okay, when you go back in that corner, I'm just gonna tell you, there's a lot of junk back there. And he was like, it's not mine. It was the guy that was here before me. Man, lots of rabbits. Ooh, what was that? That wasn't a rabbit. That was a coyote. Might be some good coyote back here. Yeah, he was, look, one car, two car, three, four. Tons of stuff. He's like the guy that used to be here. He was a hoarder. <laughs> Something ran out of here. I'm pretty sure it was a coyote. Dove? Ooh. Ooh, lots of dove. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. I'm just... There's dove everywhere. 
all in this old junk. I'm just gonna keep cubbies of dove everywhere. I'm just gonna keep walking and keep filming. Should I dove hunt it or deer hunt it? <laughs> Look at this. Butts up against this field. This looks like an awesome bedding area. Wow, sure enough, look at that. Definitely bedding area right here. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I about just took a big old spider to my face. Look how big this one is. Oh, I mean, they're, I'm walking through trees now and dude, the amount of huge spiders that are cutting across these deer trails that I'm walking on. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, I know. He's a lot bigger in person, all right? Oh man, I about forgot about this opportunity. You can pull a side-by-side -side and or truck all the way down here. All the way. There's a trail that goes. Good sized trail. Oh god, dang it man. These spiders. Oh, they're everywhere. Look at that. Another one there. Ay ay ay. Leave me alone. They're like perfectly eye level. Anyways. Uh, this is where the ducks were last year and the last two years right here for sure. Look at that Look at that Old decoy That's cool Look at that. That's the man. I found so many old decoys here. Do they have a brand on it No. Nope. That's cool really old. I think I found like that's probably like the third or fourth one that's definitely the worst shape of the three or four that I have found. But right here, this is where the ducks like to be. And it is easy peasy getting down here. Kind of forgot. I've never hunted this cove. Ooh, and there are fish everywhere. Whew. Gonna have to come do some bank fishing. You can sit anywhere along that entire bank, this entire bank. Uh, the ducks just love this cove. They like they slam in it you can hunt anywhere right here. So now walking it out and seeing that I can get the trucks back here. <laughs> That's one key ingredient. Big water. You got to figure out how many areas you can actually get to physically with a truck, a trailer, a side by side, something, right? Uh, and hunt. So, geez, look at all the goose feathers on the ground. Looks like a coyote had himself a heyday. But little look at the fish in here. <laughs> Just never stops. All right, I'm about done on this property. We'll go to the next one here in two seconds. Check it out. And then it opens up to this big water. So yeah, literally you can hunt freaking anywhere. All right. I uh, just got a phone with a farmer that I've leased to for three years. He goes a dove. Uh, yeah, informed me that I didn't have the lease anymore. Uh, we haven't been there. It's just one field, basically. But I had to work my butt off to get that field two years ago. And I mean work my butt off. Uh, I'll explain it later. But here we are, we are at, uh, we're at the bass pond uh, where me and Bodie do all of our fishing, most of it anyways. And it is way down, way down. All right, that is Japanese millet right there. Uh, I've already planted a few other ponds that I haven't showed you guys, but this one, I only got about a half a bucket. Uh, that I'm going to use right now just to see if it takes off. I don't want to waste a bunch. Um, but you got to walk in right now. The beans are obviously not cut yet. This is a big weed, weedy area that allows us to get in and out. But I have no idea how this pond, uh, how it's holding water. I have no clue. This used to be the last thing that ever held water. And now... It's the only thing in this area, literally, that is holding water. And I cannot believe I checked it probably 10 times in the last, oh, I'd say, well, all of September. All of September. Oop, there's two teal on it. Look at that. First two teal I've seen all year on this pond. Two teal. 
Here we are. Awesome hide around the entire thing. All right, just got done. Got some mud on the lens. Um, planted the entire bank. Um, gonna let it set. Need to come back with the Argo, definitely check it out. Some of the millet's floating a little bit, but what happens, the wind will blow it up here. But this whole bank, the, I, I actually planted around the entire thing really well. This exposed mud should take really good. Especially if I bring the Argo down and stomp it in. But figured we'd get to talking about the drama. The drama. Everybody loves the, the drama, right? I, uh, I can tell. I can tell. Um, it is what it is, guys. I'm not going to beat around the bush about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know who leased it, and yeah, we used to be uh, acquaintances, hunting buddies, whatever. Uh, the folks that leased it, uh, we uh, used to be cool, I guess, but um, um, they, uh, the, I've only had that field that is now leased by somebody else for uh, two years. And I've only hunted it uh, two times in the last two years, but during those two years, I've paid really good money to have it. So um, there's been some locals um, that have called and asked to hunt it, right? <clears throat> and the landowner uh, would tell them no um, because it's leased. Well, I had I had mentioned it, and I guess. Man, it just could it could have been approached a lot differently. Um, I always let locals hunt when uh, when I'm not going to hunt it, right? So we looked at that field. We have looked at that field. Not only me, but Drew, Gerald, Aaron, Gage, one of us, Kurt, Preston, one of us have pretty much looked at that field every single day during our hunting slash guide season, right? Um, especially when we know birds are in the area. If there's no birds in that area. It ain't even worth looking at because if there ain't no birds, there ain't enough to get out over there. That field is not huntable, right? A good hunt very often, very often at all, um, which is good. But the days that they would call and ask, there was like no birds out there. And I remember some of the times they called. So <clears throat> I wish that the landowner kind of would have called me during those times and been like, hey, someone wants to hunt it um are you going to and i'd have been like no i don't even know why they're gonna hunt it because there's no birds over there you know yeah go ahead i could have said go ahead at any moment but just didn't get handled correctly unfortunately and the folks that got it um now i don't want to say anything too bad okay the the people that got it okay and i think this is the easiest way to put it the nicest way to put it they have, uh, they've been trying to get that filled for the last couple years. Um, there's also been some other issues arise um, between me and them. Um, call it jealousy, call it just upset because they can't hunt their hometown field, which I get it. I understand. I'm not going against that whatsoever. Uh, but I, I'm not speaking for the farmer or the landowner by no means, but it just sucks when uh, the farmer making great money, um, and money's besides the point a lot of times, but like the landowner had told me, you know, man, I just, I feel bad uh, because they would call and they couldn't hunt it. And I'm like, well, heck, you know, if, if there ain't hardly any birds on it, let them hunt. Well, you know, I just didn't want to bother you and call you late at night or whatever and i was like man it didn't matter you can call me anytime i love letting people hunt when we ain't going to that's something that we do all the time as much as possible really if we don't have anything to hunt we're gonna have to go look at it right but <clears throat> just these people knowing uh, that they're also only good gonna get to hunt it a couple times a year honestly good hunts this is my life this is my job those folks, it is not their life and it is not their job. It is not their well-being. 
having a guide service, YouTube channel, whatever it is, right? And I'm not saying that allows me or that should, that should allow me to have the upper hand on people. That's not what I'm saying at all. Uh, just a little bit of communication would have been nice, I guess, you know, from somebody, anyone, to go, hey, I don't want to mess with, you know, your job and your opportunities, but do you think we could hunt it, you know, when, when you're not going to? Just a simple phone call. That's it. That's all it could have been. But now, it's just this big war, this big battle. It's not a big war battle. I shouldn't go there. It really isn't. Uh, that field didn't provide me a lot anyways. It's just a simple fact. Like, it's my hometown. I work my butt off all the time using my brain getting good ideas going after them right using my brain getting ideas going after them and when you make a good idea into a success or a win man it feels good it feels real good um, because that field in particular that i'm referring to has never ever ever been leased until two years ago when i did so what does that tell you? I had to make really good relations with the owner. And I did, and I do, and I have. And so, just, um, I don't know. I No one's at fault, you know, I, I guess. It's just like, why, why can't there be a mutual respect? Like, I'm all about, I am all about letting somebody hunt one of my least fields if I'm not gonna do it, right? Those birds aren't, they're not like deer. They, uh, the birds come and go. They move through, they move out, they move in, they move out. You know what I mean? They're migrating and they're not, they're not my birds. They're all of our birds. So like sharing the wealth is something uh, that I do as much as I can. Uh, it's just like what sucks about it all, I guess, is uh, these folks have been trying to whittle me down on hunting opportunity and rub stuff in my face, which I see it, but I pay no mind to it. I got too much to do. I got other things to worry about than that. And then this pops up, you know. I ask one of them, I'm like, hey, did you lease this field? Through text. Didn't get a reply for uh, probably three hours, two and a half hours. And then a little subtle, uh, I didn't lease it, but my buddy did. Oh, 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 your buddy did, but you're the only one that has decoys. I see how this works. I see how it works. So, um, now I know, you know, sometimes it's better these things happen a little bit ahead of time so you know who to F with and who not to F with anymore. Uh, people that aren't gonna respect you and give you a call and see if you can make something work, that's just gonna do that, take away something that you've paid a lot of money for and worked your butt off for to get and maintain and manage a relationship and everything, right? Just take it, okay, all right. All right, now I know. Thank God, now I know and we'll just move on.